Have you ever wondered how Power BI selects the data region that it's in? That's coming up. Hi, I'm Adam Saxon and welcome to Guy in the Cube, a channel dedicated to helping you and your business gain insights by learning and growing on the Microsoft Business Intelligence stack. I am down in Houston now and you can kind of see it's a little bare behind me, but I'm going to be working on building that out over time. And if you like this video and you're not subscribed already, be sure to subscribe for more great content down the road. Do you even know what I mean when I say where your data is stored or what your data region is? What I mean by that is when you upload a PBIX file or an Excel document to Power BI, there is some information that's actually stored in the Power BI service itself. This could be the reports, it could be the actual data model and the data inside of the model, or it could just be connection information if we're connecting to like an analysis services live instance. So this has to go somewhere and it resides in Azure, which is located in a Microsoft data center somewhere in the world. The way you can figure out what data region your data is stored in is to go into the Power BI service itself, click on the question mark, go down to about Power BI, and you will see an item there that says your data is stored in and it'll give you a region. That's where your region is. But you may not have picked that at all or even known what that would be. This is the same data region for all of your users in your organization, regardless of where they're located. So let me give you a quick scenario here. Say that I've got John and John is located in the United States and he signs up for Power BI. And he's the first user for that organization to sign up for Power BI. When he goes into the Power BI service, he'll then see that his data is stored in the United States in one of the United States regions. So then we've got Jane. This is a global organization and Jane resides in Australia. She then goes and signs up for Power BI, but her data region she's gonna see is United States also. Now, let's look at this a different way. Let's say that the majority of your users are in Australia, but you have one user that works remotely in the United States. We'll say that that user is John again. John goes and signs up for Power BI. He's the first one in your organization to do it, and he selects that he's in the United States. When he goes into Power BI, he's going to see that his data is stored in the United States. And every other user in your organization, they're all located in Australia. All their data now is stored in the United States. That may not be ideal for what you want. However, the data storage location is determined upon that first user signing up you can't change the location after the fact. So if you haven't already signed up for Power BI for your organization, you're gonna to wanna to take a look at it and make sure that it fits the best needs for your organization. Okay, so we looked at what the data region is, we looked at a quick scenario, so let's actually look at how this actually gets determined when you go to sign up for either Power BI or another service. There are two things that I wanna go through. The first item is when your organization doesn't exist in Microsoft at all. So that means you've not signed up for Office 365, you've not signed up for Power BI or any of the other Microsoft services. So if this is your first time and you're signing up for Power BI, when you go to sign up, there's going to be a location dropdown that you select the country that you reside in. By default for me, it will list United States, but I can change that to any other country. This is the determining factor for where your data will be stored. This is the region for your organization and this is selected by the first user to actually sign up. So you wanna be very careful which country you choose here. If your organization is global and the majority of your users are say in Australia, and you're in the United States, you probably wanna choose Australia for this dropdown, just because that's where the majority of your users in your organization exist. And this country selection is shared by both Office 365 and Power BI. So it will work for either one of those and you can't change it. So once you select that country and go and sign up for Power BI, when you go in and you go to the question mark and then go to about Power BI, you should see that region reflected there. All right, the second part of this that I wanted to bring up is if you already have an existing organization within the Microsoft services. So if you're signed up for Office 365, but you're not signed up for Power BI, remember I already said that this country selection is shared for both of them. So when you signed up for Office 365, you selected a country in that dropdown. That will be the data storage location for Power BI. That's how we determine where that location is. You can verify this if you're an admin for your organization by going to the Office 365 admin portal, clicking on settings, 
and then selecting organization profile. When you select edit next to the address information, it'll actually have a country listed there and it'll be disabled. But that is the country that Power BI will pick up when you do end up signing up for Power BI. Again, you cannot change this, but this is how it actually works and where it picks that from when you sign up for Power BI. Let me know if you have any questions about your data region or data storage, you can leave that down in the comments below and I will answer them as best I can. And be sure to stay tuned for more great content and to see how the progression of the office continues and just keep being awesome.